Hey guys, and thanks for clicking on the video. I'm Zimic playing some Darkrai in the bottom lane. We're running these items and these emblems. Alright, we are here with Darkrai once again. Still in duo queue with Amateus as the Wigglytuff because we're cheese. We're cheesing. Anyways, uh, I am stacking, so I'm going to be looking for stacks. Oh gosh, this Sableye is going. Yep, he, he did the thing. I don't have any orbs anymore. The Bunnel. The Bunnel Bee. The Bunnel Bee. Oh my gosh. They're going to steal it. Yep. That is so annoying. <laughs> I don't know what uh, I have set up right now. But uh, it was not hitting the Bunnel Bee. I think I have it set to the closest Pokemon because of Garchomp. I think that's what it is. Super annoying that it got a Sableye with knockoff. He's about to fall asleep. He's asleep. Alright, we got him again. We gotta be careful with the Glaceon. Okay, it's locked onto Amateus, so I can bank. We're going to be taking Dark Void and Nasty Plot. I don't see as many people. I, I don't know. It, it seems like the Dark Pulse is more meta at the moment. Nice, got him. Can we get stacks? Got him. Can we get stacks? I think we can. I think that is something we can do. Well, look at that. We are completely stacked up. That was beautiful. Amateus gave his life, but uh, I'm go six stacks I'm going to say worth. Oh, wow. He actually stopped me. Well, he thinks I'm still stacking. I'm not. I'm. All it's already over. It's so over. But yeah, with seeing we get boosted autos, we just have to be careful because it's really easy to um, activate both of our sleeps at the same time. And then like they can only fall asleep once, right? I assume that's the case. It's so, so strong. This is ridiculous. Wait, why? The, the sing animation didn't get off. Didn't go off. Did you see that? My nasty pot kept on taking me the wrong way. I thought, if, like, I thought it was the way that you were running. That's what the wording set makes it sound like. I've never taken this set before, so there's definitely going to be some um, rowing pains here. It, it made it sound like it was like the way that you were running, kind of like Dodrio. But I guess it's just a dash, and it like aggroed onto somebody. It doesn't do any damage. But it does stack up. So if somebody gets put to sleep. That's when we want to use it. Oh my gosh. That Azumarill had just enough range. Um, so I think what I was doing there was I was expecting Dark Void to put him to sleep. You have to hit them. You have to hit them. That, it's as simple as that. And now he's asleep, and now I get no boosted. So, it's a little bit difficult. You have to have somebody kind of put them to sleep for you. Or you, you put them to sleep, and then you, you emote on them, and then you go. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. You have to emote on them. One, two... Oh, no, I messed it up. See, it's, it's so easy to mess it up. If somebody puts them to sleep for you, you don't even have to worry. <laughs> So let's see if I can get this right. So it's one, then hit, emote, and then boom. And then everything just dies. So, and then emote. And then we're actually going to just do this. And he's just dead. Alright, well that, uh, I, I came into the world of the living, of the awake, and they were ready for me. But you know what? We baited them in. That's, that's what we, that's what you say when you, uh, when you die and then they, there's a team wipe afterward. You just say that you baited them in. This seems to be more of a 1v1 sort of strat, because if somebody else wakes them up while they're asleep, while you're emoting on them, it doesn't work. It's interesting.
It does a lot of damage, though. Oh, am I alive? <gasps> I'm alive! We're taking somebody to the dream world immediately. It's, it's poor Azumarill. All right. Oh, you that was some end lag. I was stuck there for a long time. Interesting. I couldn't move. I don't know if it was lag on my end or just uh, the end lag on the move. In the comments, let me know what uh, what dark rice set you're rocking these days. Why don't I see the um, animation for that their Wigglytuff sing? It's weird. He put me to sleep. Like from far. No, I was probably asleep from the Wigglytuff. That's what it probably was, right? Because he has to hit me, and he wasn't in range to hit me. All right, this this set seems like it can be a lot of fun if you get the hang of it. Actually, both sets seem like they could be a lot of fun. Both sets seem like they could be very broken right now. So maybe it's that, then you dash at them, then you hit them once, and then you dash again, and then you stano snap them. It was just kind of a mosh pit of CC. It was a team diff. That wasn't exactly me doing it. All right. He should be asleep. Pretty. Why didn't he go to sleep? I don't know why that Sableye didn't go to sleep. Maybe the ex tech counter expired. Maybe no. The dark pool. The dark void definitely hit him. Maybe my auto missed. I didn't think it did. Interesting. Just remember to emote on him. So the fact that it's showing up on my screen means that that's the second surrender vote of the game, which is just so cool. 15 seconds before Ray. Okay, Sableye's here. Oh, Amateus put him to sleep, and I had both nasty plot counters up. That's huge. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got the Zoomerill, apparently. That was not who I was going for. Oh yeah, that's some in lag on that move. There is definitely in lag on that move. So their dark eye is still alive. All right, good. Our team can secured it. And look, they surrendered. Maybe, uh, maybe we shouldn't put a surrender vote 15 seconds up before right. Perhaps. All right, slowly learning more about about dark eye. Obviously going to be struggling at the beginning. How much did we did 87? We did the most damage on there's no way there's this Pokemon is busted I am not doing well in these dark eye games, but like my damage numbers are still at least you know decent Decent to good. I wouldn't say absolutely crazy dark. I can easily hit six figures I've seen it happens in so many games and it's not like we're reaching that with that those numbers but like 87,000 is pretty good for a carry just in a standard match, especially when there's no defenders. But like, that's crazy. This Pokemon is busted. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, bye.